Hey there guys, so I'm on my way to see Spider-Man No Way Home, the most hyped movie of the last decade, or at least it feels like. I haven't felt this much hype and anticipation for a movie since maybe Avengers Endgame, and oddly enough, it almost feels like there's slightly more hype with this movie, or maybe it's just been so long since we've had a movie of this caliber with this much fandom going into it uh, since something like Endgame. But either way, I'm ready to check it out. It's been a while since I've, you know, been excited about a movie like this. I, I love big blockbuster comic book action movies. Uh, it's just a good time, pure escapism. And I have my snacks ready to go as I drive with no hands. But trust me, I'm a pro professional stuntman, uh, stunt driver from the 1980s, whatever that means. I got my bag of uh, sour gummies here now I'll tell you one thing in life what you need to do you need to buy the four pound bag of, of gummies that way you can sparse them out into little Ziploc baggies and you put them in your pocket uh, as you walk into the movie theater okay do I want to go to this gas station or the one closer to the movie theater and I'll tell you why I have a debate right now I used to always get drinks at the movie theater that was the one thing I would buy not not my candy um, but my drinks because I like a nice ice cold drink three ice cubes no more no less you guys know how it goes but lately, every time I get a soda from the, the movie theater, first of all, it costs $17.95 for a, a, a little bucket of carbonated sugar water. But beyond that, the soda is always flat. It doesn't taste that good. And I don't want to wait in line for 47 minutes because the movie does start in 15 minutes and I just know the concession lines are going to be way too long. So I, but back to getting a, a bottle of soda. I just, it tastes more crisp and fresh. The only downside is it doesn't stay as cold as long, but that's the sacrifice I'm willing to make today. <laughs> change light, change. The movie starts in 10 minutes. I need to go to this gas station right here. Okay, mission complete. Let me get out of this parking place without running over someone. And even if I do, I have to leave the crime scene immediately because the movie starts in eight minutes. All right, let's try to Get out of here without dying. Oh. That's how you do it. All right. I got to put my seatbelt on for the next 200 feet. Uh, so, yeah, I got my uh, my Pepsi Max because I want to be caffeinated and uh, I'm excited to the max. Let's go. The movie starts in seven minutes. All right, guys. So I got to pull up the, uh, the tickets on my phone and try to find those. Uh, so I will see you guys after Spider-Man No Way Home. And I will share some of my quick initial thoughts and no spoilers. So I'll see you guys after the movie. Bye. Okay. Hey there, guys. How are you? I just saw Spider-Man No Way Home and I'm on my way home after watching the movie. All right, so I was at the gas station, and by the way, I just shot a quick first reaction uh, for my main channel, The Flick Pick, uh, just like a three-minute out-of-the-theater reaction, and now I'm giving you guys sort of, sort of the full-fledged flick trip experience because I gave you my thoughts on the way there, and I'll give you my thoughts on the way home because I have more to say, and no worries. Once again, no spoilers. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing right now. Oh, actually, I'm not going home. I lied to you. I'm going to get something to eat. So let's talk about Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh, the hype for this movie actually delivered i will say that it really did um there's a maybe a little handful of nitpicks uh there was really only one slow part right in the middle of the movie that i mean it wasn't even slow it was just the the slowest part of such a movie like this that was like the the most lackluster part but uh like i said in my first reaction and I have to go do a full-fledged movie review of this movie. And the thing I'm gonna hate about that is, this is the type of movie where you almost just wanna do a spoiler video on it because there's just too much shit to talk about. And to do like a, just a, a to tiptoe around a non-spoiler review video would just, it just, I don't know, something about it just doesn't feel like there's enough substance. But nevertheless, I'm just gonna give you guys some of my initial thoughts because I know the movie doesn't come out, doesn't come out everywhere for a, maybe a week or two in some places. So, um, I yeah, I, I by the third act, I was a little a little girl in my seat. That sounds weird. I was excited. How's that? That sounds better. That sounds less creepy. Um, <laughs> oh, and I did sit beside a fan uh, or viewer. He sat down beside me. Uh, I talked to him for like two seconds before the movie started. But either way, I hope I hope he enjoyed it. Um, if you're watching right now, man, it was nice meeting you, by the way. Uh, so yeah, I. Uh, <sighs> I really don't know what else you could have done with this movie. I was actually pleasantly surprised with the writing of this movie. It really felt like someone sat around, 
used logic, they were a fan of the previous movies, took what was good from them, capitalized on it, and what wasn't good from those previous movies, someone was like, you know what, we're gonna poke some fun at that. And they did, and it was good. And and the villains all had like a moment to shine. They did what they could with them. A few of them felt a little bit obligatory, like, I don't know, for example, like the lizard felt a little bit like, ah, he's here because we need like the lizard, but why not? I mean, it wasn't handled bad. It just, there's only so much you can do with some of these, these characters after the fact. And I feel like they did it. So. Uh, a lot of fan service moments. I, I just, it's one of those movies. I don't know how you wouldn't like this. Like if you're a Spider-Man fan, I feel like this is a movie made for you. Something I never thought we would ever see. Like who would have ever thought we'd get a movie like this? I didn't. I, I'm at the, uh, I go to this restaurant called Culver's quite often. It's good food. I feel like they don't spit in it. So I like it. Um, there's a line of 15 cars I'm waiting on right now. So with all that said, I guess I can just wrap up the video here, right? And once again, I am going to go home and do a, a review of this movie tonight. Sometimes I dread that. Like, I like going to see the movie. I like doing the first reactions. But something about now I have to go home and do, like, the professional style review where I... I organize all my thoughts and present them and then edit them and then it just like add the visuals because that's as a professional critic such as myself that's what's expected of you that's what you need to do because if you just simply talk to a video camera sharing your thoughts and basically reviewing the movie that's not a review but sitting down in a chair with jump cuts makes it a review so either way I will be doing that tonight because once again I do have a lot to say I'm, I'm almost debating about just doing a spoiler review for this movie like why why do two videos one without spoilers I, it's just so much to talk about all the good shit you want to spoil so that's what you want to talk about and review um so either way guys I, this is definitely the movie i think people are going to want to see um and i think it's on par and now it it's epic in many ways is it as epic as something as avengers endgame no because i had 800 different characters flying from space uh, with the biggest bad guy in the in the whole Marvel universe, but as far as the Spider-Man aspect of things go, the the Spider-Verse aspect of things go, this is as epic as I think you could probably get to. I mean, I, I, maybe there's a few things they could have included had they had more money, or maybe they could. I, I don't even actually know what more they could have put into this movie. I mean, sure, they could have just tacked more into it, but for the sake of storytelling, would it have been necessary? Would it have improved the movie? Or would it have just been cheap fan service? I think that would have been a, a strong possibility had they done certain things like that. But I feel like it was handled so well, and props to the writers of this film, because I felt like they they definitely delivered. Like, And I, I'm so surprised by what I'm saying right now, because typically... When it comes to Hollywood, big blockbuster action comic book movies, they they just they're either afraid to either go for it or they 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 go too far with it and cheapen it. And this was just a feel good big epic movie. Like that's what it was to me. This was it reminded me of being a kid uh, back in the movie theater, and you're just like, whoa, that was awesome. That was cool. Like, oh, I enjoyed that. People laughed. And the other thing I want to say about the, the audience I watched this with, this was by far one of the best theater experiences I've had in a very long time, not only because of the movie, but because of the audience. They were actually a very respectful audience. And like, it's like, what? Where am I? Did I go to another dimension? Who am I? Did Doctor Strange bring me through a portal somewhere? I don't know what happened, but my audience... They were laughing every time something emotional happened. They were all right there. They were quiet when they needed to. Uh, there was a few claps and uh, applauses here and there, but just just enough not to annoy you. And it was a damn good time. So either way, guys, uh, those are my quick thoughts. I, I don't know if those were even quick thoughts. I feel like I just was a very long-winded after the movie sort of rambling. But like I said, once again, my brain is just mush right now. I need some food for my brain before it melts out of my ear. Uh, as always, guys, leave your thoughts, your opinions down below. Let's try to avoid spoilers if we can in the comment section, just for a few days. Uh, just, you know, for people who haven't seen it, uh, because I, earlier today, I was taking a, I was taking a shit. 
Uh, I'm sorry if that's a little too graphic, but I was taking a big, nice, juicy shit. I hope you're eating right now. I'm just kidding, but I hope you're not. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I was scrolling through TikTok and I saw one spoiler, just one like three frames of something some asshole had to upload for accreditation because he needs views. But then again, I don't even know who would give a shit about that on TikTok. Who cares? Um, and I was like, you asshole. Like, I, part of me wished I could reach through my screen, grab that person by their throat, literally choke them till they're unconscious. When they're unconscious, what I do is I, I they wake up in a bathtub filled with ice. I literally cut their kidneys out with a rusty steak knife. Then I sell them on the black market. That way they can feel my pain. But with all that said, guys, that got dark and twisted, but I'm gonna eat some hamburgers. As always, leave your thoughts down below. Give the video a like, and uh, definitely go check out the Flickpick channel for, uh, by now, I might have a full-fledged movie review up. I have a first reaction. But most importantly, I have a brand new uh, 4K uh, Blu-ray update video where I talk about some new movies I got. And I showcase a new unboxing of uh, No Time to Die, which was really awesome. It's like the limited special edition. It comes with like the uh, James Bond vehicle. It's really cool. So check all that stuff out over on the Flickpick channel. And before you go, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I'm going to shut up now. Thanks for watching, guys. And take care. Bye.